guys, it's Mark from Biker Bits. This is a uh, video showing you everything that I use um, for going away on a camping trip and all the bags that I use on the, on the motorbike. Previously I've done a um, video showing the easy bag setup which is for all my tent and sleeping gear. Uh, someone commented where else, where, <laughs> where do you stick everything else? So this video is going to show you um, all the bags that I have and that I use on the motorbike. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is the saddlebags. I have a uh, set of Saddleman saddlebags. They're a great little system. They uh, use these little holes here, which fit straight onto here, and they just lock in. It's uh, under the seat, under the pillion seat um, setup, and basically they just go on like this. First of all, put on the little bottom clip, open the bag up, take the little locking things into the holes, turn them, and that's basically it. Uh, the buckles here, they're a, a, a quick clip, and just slot in. Just like that. They have the beauty of the uh, the old style buckles, but really quick. The next thing I uh, have is this little board that I've uh, made up myself, a bit of a custom job. Basically, the sissy or the rack on the sissy bar is pretty small for the big um, sissy bar bag that I use. So just to, to help protect the bag and make sure it you know, has a nice big area to sit on, I made this little thing. Basically, uh, nice and easy to come off. It's just the two bolts there with wing nuts underneath there. Um, but yeah, it really gives you that nice big platform, and that's just bloody solid as not going anywhere. Next to go on is the, um, the sissy bar bag. This thing's uh, fantastic. It fits so much stuff in it, and it's got all these different compartments in it. Uh, basically, all you've got to do is on the back there you'll see she's got that goes over the sissy bar just like that then I've got as added security just a couple of little straps that I made up So I hook on like that, that's it, not going anywhere. Uh, it also has a great little handle there. Um, this actually comes with a backpack, you can attach a backpack harness to it so that if you're walking a great distance you can sling it on your back, but fuck no, this thing's too bloody heavy to be slinging it on your back so I never use that. Got a little pocket up here on the top which I uh, have my little lock so I can lock the bag if I want to. Um, the kickstand pad for those sandy spots. And also keep, that's a bit of uh, plastic for just for covering over the motorcycle seats if it's pissing down overnight or something. Um, and then you've got the raincoat that actually comes out all the way over it. it has straps that you can tie it all down so that you can ride along with it or overnight. Top pocket here, which I just keep straps or just little bits and pieces um, in there. It just depends on what I'm really doing as to what goes where. All these are lockable, um, and the locks on on these actually are the same as the locks on the saddlebags. So I've got one little key that works every lock on here. Another little handy thing is this thing here opens up like that. If you can lengthen these, and what I've done is I actually carry my tripod and it just slots in there or you can put a jacket in there. Um, yeah, locks down, extra little spot to put stuff. That opens up and then here 
There's your top pocket. So heaps of room in here. Normally what I do is uh, carry all my wet weather gear so that if it does start to rain, I've got easy access to it. Next one is the, the big bottom bit. Um, yeah, really big space in here. It's got a spot here for putting the um, laptop. Put in a mirror, that's for Naomi, not for me. So she can do her hair. Um, yeah, heaps of heaps of room. You can fit a whole helmet in there. Um, it's got this here so it doesn't go all the way over. Or you can have it so that you unzip those and actually acts like a, a bit of a table. These here is what I use those other locks up in the top part. Um, it's got little round doobies things and I can just lock that so that locks tight. Got another pocket on the back here. Again they're all lockable. Um, and that has all little compartments which I don't use. <coughs> I basically just put stuff in there. And they, they come out quite wide. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Then you've got uh, two side bags, or two side pockets, exactly the same on both sides, and again they come right out. I actually put drink bottles in here. Um, on the other side is where I have my um, first aid kit, um, bits and pieces. There you go. This is my uh, latest addition. It's a, a dry bag that carries uh, all my tent and uh, sleeping gear. And it basically just goes on the pillion seat. Just like that. And then I uh, just strap it down, basically. Uh, great little D shackles which you can feed the strap through. Gives it that bit extra uh, security. Basically, that's done too. Last but not least, the all important magnetic tank bag. Uh, it's basically what I keep all my um, valuables in, you know, wallet, cameras, um, yeah, anything of value. And basically it goes on, has these little magnetic, magnetic belt thing. Clips on there. Have the extra strap which goes around the tree, loops in through there, tighten her up, and just pull it down. And it's really good because it doesn't get in the way of your legs. Um, I can still see the speedo um, and even my t uh, digital readout stuff there. Has your clear map do the lackey. Oh, there's your motorcycle cloth. Um, a little spot there for all your little bits and pieces. Um, that's where your map and whatever can go in there. And then that's your main pocket. Basically, you have an extra bit up there if you want. Your spare key and bits and pieces. I actually carry these and they're the, um, it sucks up the moisture. You get them in packages and bits and pieces. I use them in all my bags actually, just in case you know you get a bit of moisture or whatever it'll uh, suck it up. We also put a little towel in here as well 
just adds to a bit of cushioning for all the cameras and bits and pieces. It's not waterproof, so there's a little bag there <coughs> that if you unzip from here and a whole rain cover comes over it, uh, which is pretty handy too. You can have it so that it comes up pretty high like that, but there's a zipper that you can zip and actually have it down low. I never use it down low because I always fill it up, so um, yeah, but it's, an, it's a great little extra bit. There you go. Um, when you want to you pull it up and you're going somewhere that you're not going to be um, in visual sight of the bike, just basically pull that out like that. Just always wrap that through there. Pull her off. Away you go. Well, there you go. That's my uh, motorcycle camping setup. Um, see you out on the road.